COVID is actually here. Um, it didn't go anywhere. We just had low levels, but it started to creep back up in terms of volumes in patients. And we're seeing patients actually diagnosed with COVID, albeit they're not really as sick, at least some of the patients I've seen. There's some that are, but a good majority of patients aren't as sick. And that's because probably over 700 million people have been vaccinated. Or in addition, there's several hundred million that have actually also contracted COVID. So people have an immune response already. So the body is actually aware that they did have COVID and can recognize the um, assailant, so to speak. But in essence, um, it just means that the body is aware of it, but there are also other variants that the body may not be aware of. And that's why people need to be vaccinated, at least those who are at risk. Definitely those who are high risk should be getting it. And who who's high risk? I mean, those pregnant women, we have several uh, data sources and points and publications now that have shown that the COVID vaccine was helpful for pregnant women to protect them and their unborn child. So there's data on that. Uh, it's definitely irrefutable. Um, there's also those who are elderly, 65 and over, definitely. Uh, those who have underlying medical conditions, obesity, diabetes, heart disease, those who have neurologic problems, renal problems, kidney problems, uh, those would fall into high risk. And those who are immunocompromised, if your immune system is not right, you know, you probably want to get vaccinated. But all, at the end of the day, for COVID, you need to talk with your doctor, your primary care provider to guide you. You make your own choice. Um, there's some people who uh, feel that uh, they are doing well. Uh, they are not at high risk and have been exposed to COVID or may have had uh, previous uh, series, the primary series of COVID vaccine, and don't feel they need to get that second vaccine. I'll let them make that choice uh, with them and their doctor. But there are definitely folks who I would definitely bang the table on and say that are high risk. And those are the ones I mentioned before uh, that need to definitely protect themselves and uh, be protected. Some of the common side effects that we have seen with any of these vaccines, as you probably are aware now, is that you get some redness or tenderness at the site of injection, some swelling. Some may have little subtle allergic reactions that aren't um, as typical. If you do, please contact your primary care provider. You should know how you've reacted to maybe some previous shots. Um, but for the most part, they are benign. They're safer uh, than you getting COVID the uh, or SARS-CoV-2, the virus, and then developing COVID. And there are just risks that people will have to be aware of, and they can then make their own decisions. But for the most part, um, it is safe um, and then safer than having uh, the disease itself as opposed to um, developing uh, SARS-CoV-2 virus infection and all the complications that go with it. We still have long COVID out there and several people don't uh, know how their outcome is going to be. I mean, in the medical community, we're trying to figure out different ways to take care of these patients. Uh, so a lot to learn and um, I would try not to be at risk or at least reduce your risk. Uh, this is that time of the year. All viruses are fighting for showtime, um, to be perfectly candid, um, if we can make light of certain situations. But it is serious. But, you know, it is also a stressful time. Uh, all viruses, we've got RSV, we've got flu, we've got COVID. Thousands of other viruses, in addition to all other things going on in our world. Um, so, yeah, be safe out there and try to protect yourself, get vaccinated. Discuss that with your doctor and uh, protect yourself and your family. So I would say most importantly, it's important for you to do your strict hand washing, social distancing, masking. We all know this. You should know this playbook by now. Uh, in addition to fortifying your body with the vitamin C's, the vitamin D's, other natural uh, remedies to help protect and prevent you from getting an infection. But once you've gotten the infection, you can support your immune system by doing some of those things, getting rest and protecting others. And in addition, uh, staying hydrated. Those are some of the things that people can do. Um, and of course, most importantly, for those 
who are at risk and discuss with your doctor and get yourself vaccinated, get your booster. Um, they have new uh, variants that are out and also they have updated boosters. Uh, so those would be the things I would uh, say are important.